Assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you hope you are fine by the grace of almighty allah welcome to nivs home school this is shahada director assistant teacher of science of national ideal english version school day shift today i am going to take an elementary science class for class 3 students my dear students our today's topic <coughs> chapter 3 reading done page number 16 to 20 in exercise our today's lecture number <coughs> 8 and SW number 6. Okay, let's start our class. <coughs> Chapter 3 Different type of matter. Different types of matter. <coughs> At first, we will discuss about matter. There are many different things around us. Among these, there are tables, chairs, books, marble, bricks buildings hills and many other things besides these there are soil water and air etc okay now <coughs> questions what are things made of <coughs> my dear students now come to next page what is matter all things of the earth are made of matter things such as pencil chair table water glass and blackboard are made of matter a chair is made of wood and a water glass is made of glass matter has weight and takes up space my dear students underline this line this is very very important line you have to memorize this line this is important for filling the blanks matter has weight and takes up space <coughs> now see this figure this is the figure of wood and this is chair wood uh, we know chair is made of wood and this is water glass water glass also made of glass and uh, these uh, all these uh, figures are the example of matter now properties of matter <coughs> all matters have some common properties weight shape size and volume are properties underline this line and you have to memorize this line properly weight shape size and volume are properties all matters have weight and occupy space some are heavy but others are light some are round or square and some are soft or hard my dear students this is the properties of matter this is very very important for question answer Weight, shape, size and volume are the properties of matter. All matters have weight and occupy space. Okay. Now, uh, now see this figure. Have the, some uh, matters are weight, uh, heavy and some are light. This is the figure of balloon. The, this is the uh, balloon is a light matter. And this is brick. Brick is a heavy matter. Okay. Now shape some uh, uh, some objects are uh, cube and some are round some are square and the volume matters have uh, the is specific volume okay and now come to next page forms of water number one change in forms of water water is also a matter when an ice cube is left in a warm room it becomes water when water is heated we can find steam and bubbles okay now question how does water changes its form we'll discuss this now okay see this figure here uh, uh, pot uh, this is water is heated this is the uh, uh, steam and it is visible and there is the figure of spoon okay now when a spoon pulls down there are some drops of water on it see this figure there is the this is the figure of spoon and there is some water okay and after placing a spoon after placing a spoon in steam this is the figure of after placing a spoon in steam and when a spoon pulls down there are some drops of water on it and we find them steam is made of water okay we find that steam is made of water <coughs> when water is heated bubbles rise through the water and this is called boiling 
my dear students underline this line what is called boiling when water is heated bubbles rise through the water this is called boiling bubbles are water which change into an invisible form okay bubbles are water which change into an invis invisible form and this is called water vapor this is called water vapor when water vapor cools down in the water it changes into visible particles of water and that is called steam steam becomes water vapor in the air again and then disappear see this figure these are the same figure uh, figure here water is heated and uh, this is water vapor it is invisible and here is steam it is visible and this is water vapor this is also invisible okay this is also the form of water now we will discuss three forms of water water can change its form into water vapor liquid water and ice by heating and cooling my dear students underline also this line and you have to memorize this line properly water can change its form into water vapor liquid water and ice by heating and cooling water vapor is an invisible form of water water vapor is an invisible form of water it is the gaseous state of water when heat is added to liquid water it changes into water vapor as water vapor cools it changes to liquid water and liquid water is the form of water we know best we use liquid water for drinking washing swimming etc ice is a form of water ice also a form of frozen form of water and this state of water is called solid okay and when liquid water cools it changes into ice when liquid water cools it changes into ice ice changes into liquid water when heat is added now see this figure this is ice this is in uh, solid state and uh, if we <coughs> this is uh, ice figure of ice this is solid state this is water this is in liquid state and this is gas the water vapor this is in invisible form this is gaseous state okay and uh, uh, in ice by heating it uh, will be uh, uh, convert into water liquid water and if we again we heat in liquid water it will be in water vapor that means gaseous state and <coughs> water vapor if we cool this it will be liquid water and uh, again if we uh, cool this liquid water then it will become ice okay the, uh, these are the uh, three forms of uh, example of three forms of water okay now three states of matter matter is found in different states in our environment matter can be classified into three states solid liquid and gas my dear students this is very very important line and underline this line and memorize you have to memorize this line matter can be classified into three states solid liquid and gas solid <coughs> is a state of matter that has its own definite volume and shape my dear students this it is also the properties of solid okay solid is a state of matter that has its own definite volume and shape a uh, stone is solid stone is the example of solid state the stone does not change its volume and shape by itself when we drop a stone it still has the same volume and shape ice tables and pencils are solid okay now liquid liquid is a state of matter that has its own volume but does not have its own shape <coughs> my dear students underline also this line this is very very important line um, and you have to memorize these are the properties of liquid liquid is a state of matter <coughs> that has its own volume but does not have its own shape liquids flow and take the shape of any container for example juice will take the shape of the glass when we pour juice into a glass juice flows and spreads on the desk or floor when we spill it water milk oil and juice are liquids <coughs> and now gas gas is a state of matter that flows and has no definite shape or volume of its own 
my dear students these are the properties of gas and memorize this line gas is a, is a state of matter that flows and has no definite shape or volume of its own a gas always takes the whole space of a closed container okay a gas always takes the whole space of a closed container air and water vapor are gas these are the example of gases state okay now come to exercise this is fill in the blanks number 1 ice is the dense state of water my dear students <coughs> now write ice is the ice is the solid state of ice is the solid state of water number 2 water changes into ice by cooling water changes into ice by cooling number 3 water changes into vapor by heating it will be heating and all things are made of matter all things are made of matter my dear students i am repeating ice is the solid state of water water changes into ice by cooling see this figure water changes into ice by cooling and water changes into vapor by heating okay water changes into vapor by heating and number 4 all things are made of matter my dear students our uh, today's sw number is 6 and uh, <coughs> you have to do this uh, sw this uh, this fill in the blanks do this sw and submit on saturday my dear students hope you have understood our today's topic properly keep practicing at home and memorize all question answer at home see you again in the next class allah hafiz